Well, welcome back to the channel folks. This is Average Show Adventures. Uh, today we are going to be doing something really special. We're going to be doing Barnes Bluff in the Cradle Mountain area. Um, this is a big one. This is a really, really big day trip and uh, it's got me a little, little, uh, little bit worked up, a little bit uh, cautious about this one. It's going to be a good 10 hour hike and um, and we've got to keep the pressure on to get out and in. We're doing a day trip, so uh, I'm going with my good mate Richard Tatnell. He's uh, picking me up shortly. It is currently 3.30 in the morning. Um, we're leaving at four. By the time we get the cradle and get on the track, it's gonna make for an extremely, extremely long day. I'm gonna document the journey, and um, this one is quite spectacular, folks. The, the shape of this uh, able, yeah, and is just incredible. Um, it's been on the to-do list for a while, but uh, I know Richard. Uh, Richard's been wanting to get this one pretty badly, and um, yeah, so uh, I'm tagging along again with Richard as always, and uh, hopefully we can bag this one and um, yeah, get this one under our belt. But a good ten-hour hike. Got to be prepared, got to have the right stuff with you. So a little bit nervous about this one, folks. So stick with us. And uh, I don't think I'll share much of the journey down because it's too dark. There won't be much point. But when we get to the track and get off and get going, I'll, I'll uh, record and introduce you to Richard for the trip. All right, folks, peace out. Have a good one. Please like and subscribe, Average Joe Adventures. And uh, let's get it. Cheers. Well, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. We've just arrived at the Ronnie, Ronnie Creek car park. We're going to uh, attempt a good walk today. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. I'd like to introduce you to Richard. How are you? How are we going people? You well? Alright. It's a bit chilly here this morning, but uh, yeah, we're all pumped. We're ready and uh, we'll see where this day leads. Alright folks. Checking up the road. All right, folks, we're off. We're on our way. Following, uh, traversing Tatnell here. I'm very excited. It's my first. The rowdy hiker. The rowdy hiker, folks. I'm sorry. Traversing Tatnell, the Count of Monte Cristo. Um, <laughs> I've the names again. Yeah, I'm very excited. I've seen this. Uh, everyone gets a picture here on this track here, and. Uh, The overland track but look at this stunning boardwalk to start off with so what do we got uh, Marion's lookout three hours three hours all right here we go we'll give it a crack today ladies and gentlemen see how we go see how our legs are feeling we we might get it we might not but uh, this is my first time up here so I'm just looking for a good view of cradle today so anything else is a bonus and I'm heading along with a good friend Richard and uh, just getting a bit of this serenity into your system folks get it right into you and uh, here we go onwards and upwards go forth and conquer and uh, yeah we're about uh, 15 minutes 10 minutes in people Getting into it now. Starting uh, Marion's lookout, isn't it? Marion's lookout, start off with. Alright, I've got a feeling most of these layers of clothes are going to come off me very soon. And uh, yeah, very enjoyable, very beautiful so far. Just taking it all in. Alright, we're just approaching something here by the looks of it. Got Richard up ahead, he's getting very excited about something, he said. Why wouldn't you? Look at this. Oh, wow. What hut's this one called? No, I'm not 100% sure. The Maybe boat it's shed, is it? It is a little boat shed. Oh, somebody's really keen to build a boat shed up here, I tell you. That is, <laughs> that is some effort. Ah. Oh, wow, Richard. Deary me folks, hold on, I'm going to put you up nice and high to see this. Holy shite. Wow. 
Very the sound of music. Yeah. You know, the hills are alive, a bit Switzerland. I think it's very nice. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Richard's uh, said he's going to do a bit of yodeling. Do you hear that, ladies and gentlemen? He's the yodeler, the Tassie yodeler. That's his new nickname. Yeah. What was that? Uh, you know that yodeler on The Price Is Right? No, I don't. You remember that yodeler yeah, that goes off the edge on that? Oh, oh yeah, the little hill climbing guy. Yeah. Uh, if you do it not close enough, he keeps going. Yeah, no. Is that me? Is that, that is, yeah. Edge? That is. No, not off the edge, but uh, yeah. Well, this is pretty stunning here. All right, folks, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and take some pictures here and put this down. But uh, actually, take that back. I'm just gonna take you with me because this is. Wow, that must be pretty deep in there. Yeah, so Cradle Lake, Wombat Pool. Probably Wombat Pool. Wombat Pool. Wombat Cradle Lake on the other side, yeah. Oh. Alright. Fuck, you're lucky to be a wombat, ladies and gentlemen. Wombat Pool. A pool just for wombats, no swimming for uh, normal you're people. Lucky, mate. What? You're in luck, you can take a dip. Oh, yeah. You've been a wombat and all. Ah, Richard, with the wise cracks already on this journey, he's out of control, ladies and gentlemen. Out of control, but check that out. Alright, onwards and upwards, I'll, I'll put a couple of photos at the end of this video of how beautiful this is. Alright. Richard up here. Rowdy hiker himself showing me the good shots. Mountain man underscore 47 and on YouTube the rowdy hiker at him folks. Oh wow. Very special. That's the controversial interpretation center over there. Yep. Yep, so that's the multi-million dollar I believe it's to do with the, the you know, um, First Nations people and stuff like that. Yep. The information on the in the area, you know, how it was all formed and things like that. So it might be interesting, I don't know, I've never been there. Um, I think it's a scar on the scenery actually, but that's just me. You and me both, Richard, you and me both, mate. Alright, well this is pretty spectacular right here. Alright folks, halfway up Marion's lookout here. We've got the resilience builders here following us behind us, a great, uh, a great walking team. And we've got Richard, he's just taken off and doing his YouTube. And uh, yeah, she's, uh, I'm going to admit it, like it's, it's very steep, but um, very doable for the average person. Just take your time, a few breaks. I've had a few and uh, we've had time to get our GoPro footage. But uh, this little section here is pretty steep, but one step at a time, go forth and conquer, and uh, and uh, get a V8. That's all I can say. What was that, Richard? Did you say that again, mate? Oh, that's so rich. Get a V8 up, you youngie. Yeah, youngie, get a V8. Sending that out to the silkworm, Daniel Young. But uh, yeah, let's do it. Looks like a track up there, Richard. Looks like a track up there too. Oh, it used to be. All right. Check in at the top, ladies and gentlemen. There we go, straight up, mate. All right, Richard's reached the rope chain. There he is. Oh yeah, now we're going straight up, people. Whoa. Safety first. But uh, if I can do it making up here with a GoPro, folks. In one hand. Bravery there. <laughs> Richard's saying I'm so brave. <laughs> oh. He's a wild man, mate. Richard Tatnell. Mountain man underscore 47 at Instagram or the rowdy hiker on YouTube. Ooh. Check that out. Alright. Gonna face this camera up, folks, so you can see where we're going. 
Oh. Oh. All right, I've got to put this down. Richard was right. That's, that section is a leg killer. Okay. Or as Richard called it, the gluteus maximus burner. All right. Woo! All right, ladies and gentlemen. The summit of Cradle Mountain is coming into view. We're getting to the top of Marion's Lookout here. We've got a few walkers up ahead there. Richard. He's absolutely knocking this one out of the park. Real proud of him. Not that uh, he needs any encouragement. He does this for fun. But anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow, holy. For a first time I'm coming to Cradle, ladies and gentlemen. It's just come into view over here, so. Sorry about the wind, but I'll put some music over this. Here we go. Richard. Look at this ladies and gentlemen. Dove Lake. And the walking track surrounding that down there. Cradle Mountain folks. Across. I see. Mount Campbell, that big one. Yep. That's Hanson's Peak. If you see that bit of water there, that's behind that bit of a ridge, that's Twisted Lake. Alright. Caned up that, mate. Caned it. But, look, we're going that good, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to pass some hikers here. Get out of the way. Move it or lose. That's what we say, don't we, Richard? If we don't. <laughs> the rowdy hiker himself. No, no room for anyone else on this track but us. <laughs> All right, the rowdy how hiker and average Joe, carving up this mountain like butter. Anyway, folks, how good is that? Richard's just gonna strip off here, he said, and walk naked for the rest of the journey. Uh, Aren't you, Richard? It's not, that's, that's June 21, dude. June 21. Uh, June 21, well, World Hike Naked Day. Is it really? Really? Oh, God, I might have to, I don't know, I don't know if I'd, like I'd, I'd go solo hiking. I didn't. I don't know if I want to follow you up a mountain naked, Richard. Oh come on! I've seen the pictures of my ass. Yeah, you know those glamour shots I take of Richard and his tidy, tidy whitey walking up. Anyway, folks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm only human, he said. Uh, he has that effect on everyone, including men, he said, and not just women. But uh, check that out. All right, time for a picture. All right, folks, we'll check in shortly, a little bit further up the track, but we gotta get a move on over to Barnes, and uh, we're gonna smash this out. We are absolutely canning it. Richard's doing good. He's taking a few glamour shots there. And uh, yeah, let's get it. 2021 Cradle Mountain. Woo! Barnes Bluff. Oh, 2023. Well, I've got, I've gone back three years. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, we better keep going. I'm getting a bit delirious. Maybe I need a Red Bull. Red Bull, come on as a sponsor, and I'll wear your hats. Just send us a few Red Bull and any shoes, jocks, pants, earrings. I'll get a full grill. Red Bull done. I'll get a tattoo of Red Bull if you if you come on board. Anyway, folks, anything for a free Red Bull. All right, let's go. Alright folks, we're back. We've just got a wicked view here of Cradle. We've got Cradle here and the track leading up to it up there. I'll try and zoom in and get you some footage of that shortly. But there's our destination, Barnes Bluff. It is a lot bigger in person ladies and gentlemen, walking up to it here. And uh, we're just coming down to Kitchen Hut down here. And uh, yeah, we've got to get a boogie on. We're going for 10 hours today, allowed 10 hours, but we're trying for about nine, nine and a half. So, uh, yeah, average Joe doing a fantastic adventure here. 
Sorry about that wind noise. How are we going, Richard? Yeah, just as Richard's snotting everywhere. Papa Smurf. <laughs> Papa Smurf. That. Yep, we're doing well. Destination unknown. Oh, we know exactly. Oh, going to the Great Nepal over there. But, uh, yep, look at that. How's the serenity? It's up there. You want to say hello to your lovely wife, uh, Lisa? Well, actually, she uh, she's been a bit pretty supportive this morning, so it's great. Yep. Yeah. Say hello, anyway. Hello, Lisa. Get out of bed. No. Hello, Lisa. Once again, thanks for allowing him to come along. Only joking, folks. Richard doesn't need no uh, no uh, permission. All right, folks. Just pulled up to the kitchen hut here. The gear off, mate. Oh, it's all wet. Bloody yeah. Let it dry. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. You heading up this one today, or? We've got another group that's like an hour back. Oh, is that those walkers? Or? Well, no, they were in our group. Oh, yeah, yeah. Another yep. group behind them, mate. Oh, awesome. But they want to, the other one, the second group wants to go fast, so. Yep, yep, yep. We just got an upgrade from the back. Yeah, we're going to do barn today. That's that big. The, the big gun. Yeah, yeah. How long is that? About, we're allowed 10 hours, yeah. but I reckon we'll do. Nine, I reckon we. Yeah, it? yeah. No, it's a. It's see how we go though. But you'll you'll be famous, mate. I'll put you on YouTube. But yeah, uh, um, average Joe Adventures on YouTube. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. We're going to follow Richard into the toilet here. And uh, no, we're not, folks. But uh, he's just heading off to the toilet there and uh, met up with some awesome blokes down there. They're going to be doing cradle. So uh, yeah, getting their gear off. Fucking legends. But anyway, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. He said even the view from the shit is pretty good. So uh, he's he's stoked. But we've got a fair way to go, and we need to get boogie because we've been here a little bit. Destination, ladies and gentlemen, getting closer and closer by the step. I just said to Richard that uh, this is uh, be a beautiful trail run through here because the trail is beautiful. He said uh, a lot of people do it all the time, so uh, it's nothing new. But uh, yeah, getting a lovely view of this gorge coming up here. Alright folks, we'll mosey on down and check in a couple of K up the road. Don't forget to like and subscribe everyone, really appreciate it. Thank you all my new subscribers and old ones, really appreciate it. You guys are awesome, love all the comments on there. I'll try and get back to absolutely every single one of them. But uh, you know, uh, yeah, really appreciate it. So uh, thanks for the support. Alright. Checking up the road. All right, folks. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, we're getting closer and closer now. We're just near the emergency uh, hut down here. Just about to come across it, but I'm going to be brutally honest. Average Joe Adventures. I don't know whether it was my if it's my body responding to uh, the two bits of carrot I ate last night and some tomato because it's not used to vegetables at all, but. Uh, I'm not, I'm not struggling at all. We're a few hours in now and this has been very enjoyable. It's very flat. It's not tiring. I'm not tired at all. Um, I'm going really good. So 
yeah, whether it's my body reacting to uh, having uh, some sort of vegetable for the first time instead of cheese. <laughs> yeah, maybe that. But anyway, we've got Richard up here ahead. He's leading the charge. He's going strong. Our fearless leader, as I say. Kim Jong-un is his nickname on this uh, trip because he's a dictator. Anyway, but there's our objective. It's closer than it looks, ladies and gentlemen, in the camera. It is not far at all, I would literally say. A kilometre and a half. And we're there, but uh, obviously a lot of rocks here. And uh, Richard's nursing a uh, sore foot this week. So, uh, but he's going strong. It hasn't uh, slowed him down at all. As you can see, he's uh, pulling away from me here. So, uh, yeah, we're going to stop in this shelter and have a little look. And... Um, have a little look see give it a little tappy tap you know what i mean a bit like happy gilmore give it a tappy tap and uh yeah all right folks we're just following richard here up to the brussels sprout a survival station um this is where richard will be staying tonight um that's yeah maybe you never know if it snows but um yeah this is where richard grew up um in this uh in this little bubble here he um spent many uh, days of your youth in here didn't you richard yes yes trying to communicate with the mothership <laughs> yep yep trying to et what's that mountain straight up there mate oh is that That's all right we're going to give you a look inside here there's nothing inside oh That's it. I'm just going to take off now, mate, and go on. Yeah, okay, Neil. <laughs> Neil. <laughs> Neil. Oh, this is fantastic. Hello, Gary. Anyway, I had to do that. God, that doesn't even look that far either, Mount Emmett. Oh, yeah, but it's a bit of a bitch. Is it? What, just um, a bit of rock scrambling, Richard? Yeah, a bit of rock scrambling. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. God, uh, that's, that's what we do it for. Yeah. Well, sometimes you just got to get a V8, Richard. You just got to get a V8. Yep. Get a V8, youngie. <laughs> you heard it here. You heard it here first, folks. Get a V8, youngie. Everyone on the ch uh, channel, please uh, uh, comment in the description. Get a V8, young. Closer and closer, folks. Another kilometre down the track. And we've got to go up this hill to the right here and uh, head on over the ridge line. So there's the big bad boy. There she is. There's old Barney. Barney Rubble. Inching our way. Further, closer and closer, folks. Ah, Richard's uh, mouthing off up the back up there, getting a bit uh, rowdy. He is. He's seen the top up here. He's seen, and he's uh, got that jungle fever, folks. It's just. Yeah, what happened? We got. Uh, there's a couple of people up ahead of us here, but they're a fair way up. Um, but uh, this is pretty specky, ladies and gentlemen. This is break out the red panties, sort of underwear, sort of specky. Whoa. You know, red underwear and mate, this is it's like that Conor McGregor says, break out the red sexy lingerie. We're going out for a steak dinner, baby. That's how good this is. I'm telling you. All right. <sighs> All right, folks. Checking in. Just past a lovely couple down there, but. Uh, yeah, this old pack horse here is starting to feel it at the moment. Richard's got that jungle fever. It's taken over. You can hear the Jumanji sound, but uh, yeah, it's getting gnarly. Hear the truth. Up there is pretty steep. I don't know if you can see the climbers up there, if I. But yeah, anyway, got to keep going. Got to keep rolling. But I wanted to show you this climb as much as possible. All right. As again, thanks for watching folks and please like and subscribe. We do get, get up to some crazy adventures and have crazy banter, so yeah. That's 
pretty steep up there, isn't it, Gary? All right, I'm going to take you with me for a little bit. We've got Richard here filming yeah, along. Film you as well. All right, mate. This is my forte, these rock scrambles. I really enjoy them, ladies and gentlemen, more than anything in these bushwalks. These tend to be the ones I really, really love. As you can see, it will not do it justice, but we're going vertical, folks. We're going vertical. We're going ballistic like Maverick off Top Gun. That's what we're doing. Go get them, Mav. Cool. You can see Richard down there. That was only a quick 10 meter. Oh, we've got some coming behind us too. Group of four. Where the hell did they come from? Japanese zeros. We've got behind us a couple of Japanese zeros, mate. All right, folks. Yeah, well, this is this is pretty steep, folks. Not going to lie. Oh, I tell you what, mate. This sport really starting to pay. Really. I don't want to sit out for a while. No. No, Richard's foot's acting up pretty badly now, but he's aiming for the top. But, uh, yeah, she's oh, fucking fine. As you can see, as I can see, it's hard filming here. This is a lot steeper than it looks as I've got the GoPro on a easily 90 degree angle here. We've got, yeah. Anyway, folks, got to check off oh, out of this one, and as you can see, she's nothing but net down there, folks. Nothing but Gary Glitter here in front of me. Um, yeah, round that way, buddy. Sorry, mate. Just uh, I'll let the people uh, right this uh, probably about. Bucky pit number two. Don't climb this bastard with a sore foot. You heard it here first, folks. Don't climb Barnes Bluff with a sore foot. But I tell you what, the juice will be bloody worth the squeeze on this one. This is nearly a little cherry on the top of everything, this one. Alright folks, we'll check in a bit further up here. Alright folks, uh, another little break. Three quarters of the way up, we've got some uh, Navajo Indians walking up behind us here. They seem to be running up pretty quick. Anyway, Richard's uh, caning it up there. You having a break up there, Richard? Yeah, let, let these young savs through. <laughs> Oh, that's steep. Alright, gotta put it down. Alright, who just lost their sunglasses? Alright, which one of you guys, which one of you guys lost their sunglasses? Hey boys, boys. That's all right, mate. All good, mate. Oh, I'm coming, mate. Mate, 
It's a lifestyle. Someone's got to bring up the rear. Oh. All right, Max. She's pretty crowded on the top here today, but we've got to get up and get back down pretty quick. Richard up there has adopted a, he, he's a tour guide, he's adopted another four walkers. But anyway, here we go. All right, folks, making our way up. It's a lot tougher than it looks. I'm trying to take you with me. Richard's up there. He's waited, waited up for me. But uh, the old pack horse here. A steep one she's definitely a steep one folks but the juice is worth the squeeze as always oh. Oh. there's a reason most people don't film with a GoPro going up here folks it's because you're holding the hell on for dear life View coming in, folks. Oh. oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, mate. Yeah. Oh, really? We smashed up it, mate. I knew we would. I knew we would. Ah! All right. Here's Richard here. All right. Give you a quick look here. There's the track. All the way down there. But this is steep, folks. Let's get to the summit. Checking in when I'm right there. All right, folks. Well, folks, we've made it to the summit. He's, uh, he's, uh, we've got a couple of Spaniards up here, Chile, Chile, Chilearians and Spaniards up here. They all had their shirts off before, so Richard said, oh, we're going to have a big group hug when he takes his off. But, uh, yeah. You did it boys, well done. Well done. You're gonna be on a YouTube video. Yeah. Average Joe Adventures. <laughs> Average Joe Adventures on YouTube. Well done boys. Maybe you have trouble with the police. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, thank you. What's this? I don't drink. But thank you so much. That guy is doing normal work. Sip. Sip around. Thank you. Uh, Give it away today. Oh, have a go. Have a go. Uh, this is the true energy. That's the tradition. Ah, oh, that yeah. Is the tradition right there. Summit rum. Yeah. Yeah, just a swig. And enjoy. Oh, there's the chopper, Richard, over there. So you guys, that says like France? Yeah, France. Yeah. Yeah. Spain. 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 Chile. Chileans. They call it Chileans. Chilenas. Oh, Chileans. That's it. Sorry. <laughs> Chileans. So you're just touring the whole country? Uh, we're living in Devonport. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, as Richard uh, gas bags over there, I'm going to bag this before him. So you snooze, you lose, Richard. You snooze, you lose. You snooze, you lose, Richard. First to the summit. Here we go, folks. We've got a 
chopper over there. Barnes Bluff 2023. Find some good footing here, folks. Well done. Next for this Oh no. Oh no. Watch out, fellas. <laughs> Alright folks, it's it's that time again in the video. You know what's gotta be done. I'm gonna place my daughter Maggie's rocks at the very summit of Barnes Bluff. So here we go, two rocks today. Two pretty rocks on the top. And there we go. No better view view from Barnes Bluff, sweetheart. That's at the very top. Well done Maggie. Thank you for painting them. And uh yeah, she's my little sidekick. So, uh, so, hi Maggie, how are you, sweetheart? But look at this view, sweetheart. Look how high we are. You can come walking with me one day when you're old enough and when you're ready. You're I can take nights. you to all these pretty spots and look at your rocks right here. Beautiful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, checking off out of here. Um, that's pretty, it's pretty gruesome little climb there. It's not that long but it's uh yeah it's it's yeah it's uh gonna be pretty hard getting down to the truck so uh, we'll take our time i wish i could zoom in with this gopro because i can see the other group that we passed before still still haven't even reached the trail down there yet on the way back so that's how long it's taken them to get back down probably about an hour so uh yeah richard over here zoning out getting one was in and uh yeah we got to get back to the car park at cradle mountain and um have a couple of beers on the way home and i've got to keep an eye on richard make sure he doesn't uh, pass out on the way home but uh only joking anyway folks barn bluff 2023 thanks for coming i tried to show you as much as i could on the journey on the way up to show you how tough it was but um sorry if the footage is blurry but it is what it is so yeah one more look Absolutely glorious this one. It's spectacular in its um when you're walking up to it you can see it all the way from cradle. It sure is a stunning, stunning work of art, this mountain. God sure uh, sure um did a good job with this one. He was really trying when he made this one. <laughs> anyway folks, that's if there is a god. Alright. <laughs> the boys getting into their food. Oh, yeah. They're loving it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, checking off, checking out. You're sick of my madness. Don't you tell me what I'm supposed to do? You're better off without me. Don't you tell me what I'm supposed to do When I'm walking down the streets half naked It's part of me, it's part of me When I'm making my bright makeup It's part of me, it's part of me When you're crushing all my dreams and you're making me so cool Get out of my life I know what I, I know what I'm supposed to do When you're crushing all my dreams and you're making me so cool I know what I I know what I'm supposed to do Make it. I know what I'm supposed to do Supposed to do when you're 